Good evening, everybody. How are you today? It's good to have you here, my dear Raquel, Ingrid, Rene, Alison, Iris, uh, Hazel, Lievano, Rocio, Daniel, Angel, and Carlos. It's a pleasure to have you here, my dear participants. Today, we are going to continue working with the platform and then with extra material in order to advance with our content. Uh, remember that this week we are going to finish the section number two and the section number three, and we are going to have a review of the midterm exam, right? So next week, we are going to continue with the section number four and to finish with section number five in the week number four. So I'm going to share with you uh, the, the platform in order that you can see what part we are going working to work with. So uh, I would like that you can confirm it. Can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So uh, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Um, they are used to ask and give advice, right? So uh, we are going to talk about the infinitive complements. And then let's see. Uh, in the platform you have in the 2.5 uh, uh, section, you have this video where you can go and look for more infinitive complement material. And the most important is that you can uh, listen and you can repeat and you can, you can practice your pronunciation by listening this video, right? Uh, so, uh, this, uh, this is an important part that you can consider to watch the videos. And then you go to 2.6 uh, knowledge check, right? That, um, that I, I think that we are going to come back later after the class in order to, to complete this exercise. Even though yesterday we already uh, worked on it, I think that is already solved. So 2.7 lesson objective says, in this session, you will listen to vocabulary related to containers following this part, a conversation between a pharmacist and customer will take place. Um, so uh, 2.8 conversation, what do you suggest? So uh, we are going to talk about um, suggestions, right? Again, we will continue with suggestions and um, if time allow us, we are going to continue with the 2.9 uh, for models can, could, and may for requests, okay? And this is also a video that can support can, could, may for requests and suggestions. And then we will go again to a knowledge check. So we are going to stop sharing the this platform here. And then let me go to the model for suggestion and giving advice. Okay, here, uh, remember that the model auxiliaries are can, right? And um, for a uh, week, we, we use can, uh, I would like to confirm, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla todos? Yeah. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, remember that the modal auxiliary can is used to express um, ability, suggestion, or request. And some examples are, he can find any streets in London. You can take a taxi. You can take me to, Victor can you take me to Victoria Station? In this case, this is a question, right? The modal auxiliary be, modal auxiliary be able to, it means also ability. He is able to find any street in London. It's the same meaning with he can find any street in London. It's exactly the same, but we are using different models. In the first case, can, and in the second case, be able to. Can't. Remember that when you pronounce can't, you have to do it with your diaphragma, here with your, your stomach. Uh, right, can't, and you, you feel like a strong uh, effort, like an effort, like a strength here, uh, because you need to pronounce it well in order that people understand that you are talking about the negative, can't. Even your mouth is like expanded, can't. Okay, uh, 
can is um, to say that uh, the certainty that something is impossible, it's not possible in other words. That story can't be true. Could. Uh, could is used to say ability, request, or suggestion. Examples. I could play tennis when I was younger. Could you take me to Victoria Station? You could take a taxi. Sometimes um, we use could like the past of can because could is used to refer to things in the past. May, we use may to express possibility or to make a formal request or permission. For example, it may be quicker to travel by train. May I come in? When you are in a meeting and people is uh, joining, people knock at the door and say, may I come in, right? So it's asking for permission. Might, you... might, yeah. uh, adelante. And what is the difference in suggestion and request? Suggestion normally, um, on, I, I'm giving you the advice, but I'm not forcing you to do it, right? Okay. And when I request, I'm asking you politely, but I'm asking you to do something for me or to give me something, yeah? Okay. It's a, a little more of obligation in a request than in a suggestion, right? Thank you. Uh, so I'm, I'm showing all of them, but later you will see that we will focus only on three or four of them, which are the ones for suggestion, okay? Thank you. Might. Uh, my, uh, it uh, help us to express possibilities sometimes in the past. We can say that my could be the past of May. It might be quicker to travel by train. Must, you must be back at 10 o'clock. Look at the snow, it's, it must be cold outside. It expresses obligation or certain, certainty that something is, um, is true. Have to, you have to be back at 10 o'clock. It's similar to must, obligation. Need to, you need to study a lot, obligation. Needn't is the negative, right? You needn't have, you needn't have a university degree, it's lack of obligation. Mustn't is the opposite to must, right? You mustn't drive without a license, so it's a prohibition. Uh, don't have to, you don't have to call a taxi lack of obligation again. And we are going to focus on these two, which are should. You should drive more carefully. I'm giving you my opinion or giving you my advice, but this is not an obligation. You can take my advice or you cannot. Out to, you ought to drive more carefully. Again, I'm giving you an opinion and an advice. So, but what it has to do with the models for necessity and suggestion. For example, when I need to describe necessity, I say, you must have a driver's license. You need to be 21 or over. You have to get a passport. You don't have to get vaccina vaccinations, right? So this is a necessity, it's similar to obligation. But when I give you a suggestion, I can use these three. You'd better avoid the stalls on the street, right? You'd better. Este apostrophe D is you have, have, have better. En este caso es el verbo have, pero conjugado en el pasado, had. You had better avoid the stall on the street. Out to. You ought to pack a first aid kit. Este out to is not very common in the American English is most common in the British or Australian English, right? But the meaning is exactly the same as should. You can say you ought to pack a first aid kit or you should pack a first aid kit. You should try some local specialties, local specialties. You shouldn't carry a lot of cash, right? In this case, should is affirmative and shouldn't is the negative. So here I have more, had better. We use had better to give advice about specific situations, right? Not general ones. For example, you had better tell her everything. It's like, 
eh, debería decirle todo. You had better. Sería mejor ¿verdad? decirle todo. Out to. I used to advise, uh, is used to advise or make recommendations. Also expresses assumptions or expectations as well. And is as strong as uh, prob uh, prob probability, right? Excuse me. Me salí de compartirles la pantalla. Ahí está. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok. Sorry, estoy respondiendo el chat. De, de la clase. Okay, let's continue. Example, you ought to stop smoking. So that's a recommendation. It's for your well-being. It's for your health that you have to ought to stop smoking. Uh, this stock ought to increase in value. It's a probability, right? Should. We often use should when offering advice or opinions. For example, you should see the new James Bond movie. It's great. So it's a recommendation. You may go to see the, the new James Bond movie or you you not, you don't, right? You, you won't go. Uh, people should worry more about lo global warming. So it's a recommendation again, but I'm not forcing you. I'm not pushing you. It's not a must that you have to do it. So here I have like a suggestion scale drawing for you to see and um, the weaker, right, which are, are not obligation, it's just advice, just recommendation, just suggestion, how to and should. Had better, we can say that it's like in the middle of the situation. But when I want to be stronger, I use have got to, have to, or must. So these three are the stronger when I'm giving you a suggestion because in this case it's like an obligation. Okay, um, here for example, I say that should um, is to give suggestions and friendly advice. You should apply for that job. You should try that new restaurant. Oh, two is less frequent, as I said before, in the American English, but it's very common in the British English and the Australian English, for example. Um, you ought to call home. You ought to be with me. Had better. It's stronger. It carries an indirect threat. Uh, for example, you had better finish that report. And the boss uh, said, <laughs> you had better finish that report. What could happen if I don't do it? Maybe they can fire you. Right, you can lose your job if you don't do it. And the dad says, You had better not hit your sister. What if I do it? Maybe you will have a punishment for doing that. So there's a consequence, right? So, um, here, uh, I, won't, I, I, I will not stop too much uh, here because you will have this material and I already explained might and must and because of the time I need to advance, but you will have uh, all these definitions in the extra material. Uh, you have here can in some examples, you have here could in some examples, may in some examples, and oops, excuse me. Okay, so here, Modal verbs can, could, may for request. Can I help you? That's the typical question in the customer service department, right? Can I help you or how can I help you? So, um, you can say, uh, the pharmacist asks, can I help you or how can I help you? And then the customer says, could I have this medicine? Or may I have, for example, a bottle of aspirin, may I have, or could I have a box of cough drops? May I have a tube of skin cream, right? So it's a polite way to uh, request for something. So look here um, and uh, to this conversation. The pharmacist says, hi, may I help you? And the, the lady says, uh, yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. 
And the pharmacy says, well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. And the lady says, thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? The pharmacist says, try some of these new lo lotion. It's very good. The lady says, okay. And, more, and one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? The pharmacy says, yes. So he should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. And the lady says, great. May I have three large bottles, please? So she's purchasing a lot, right? Okay, here, giving advice. I have an exercise. I'm going to expand my presentation because I need some volunteers in order to answer. So giving advice, look at the following statements and give an appropriate advice for each. And I have here three, six, nine, right? Nine uh, possibilities and not listen to, stop smoking, have a haircut, see a doctor, go to bed early tonight, not work so hard, not worry so, tell him that, have a party. One, it says, I'm just going to read and I would like that you can pay attention and later I will need eight volunteers in order to complete each one. You look terrible, I think you. Number two, you work at the office until 11 o'clock every night this week, you. It's Jane's birthday on Saturday, so I think we. Listen to the terrible cough, she. He always gives you the wrong advice, you. My train leaves at six o'clock tomorrow morning, so I. Your hair is in your eyes, don't you think of? Don't you think you? Everything will be right, you. Okay, volunteers, who wants to start? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. The number one, you look terrible. I think you see a doctor. Okay, I think you. Uh, so, uh, need to we need to add right. Uh, we need to add maybe should I need I think no. should you should a doctor. see a doctor. Should see a doctor. I'm going to write it in small letters because. The original is to see a doctor. Very good, thank you. Number two, I need a volunteer for number two, my dears. Me. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, you work at the office until, until 11 o'clock every night this week. You should not work so hard. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, volunteer for number three. Uh, me, may I? Yes, please. Go ahead. It's Jane's birthday on Saturday, so I think we should have a party. Okay, it's shaking, está temblando, chicos, lo están sintiendo. No, yeah. yes, teacher. Here, no. <laughs> okay, in my case, yes, but I'm here with you, trusting in God. Okay, it's already gone. <laughs> ya, ya se fue. <laughs> Yo sigo aquí con ustedes. <laughs> sí. <laughs> suave. Okay, San Salvador a popa, muy fuerte, sí. Should have a party. Okay. Oh, yes, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay. Lucky you. You're far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought that I was shaking my legs, and then I said, No, I'm not shaking my legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're safe, and we can continue with the class. Thank you, my dear. You. Okay. Volunteer for number okay. four. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. And listen to the terrible cough. Mm -hmm. She might stop smoking. Smoking. Okay. I don't know. No, she should. He should yeah. stop should. smoking, right? Oh, okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, number five. Okay. 
I need a volunteer? He always give you the wrong advice, you? Okay, but voy a hacer esa yo, ¿verdad? You should, you should not listen to him, ¿verdad? Porque siempre te da malos consejos, entonces no deberías escucharlo a él, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see. Can you hear me, my dears? ¿Me pueden escuchar? ¿Sí? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Pregunto porque a veces después de estos shakes las señales se pierden. Ok, my train leaves at six o'clock tomorrow morning, so I... Me. Yes, please. Eh, por ahí tengo un caballero y después mi, mi estimada. Ok. okay. Thank so, you. Ok. So, I should go to bed early tonight. Go to bed early tonight. Ok. So, I should go to bed early tonight. Excellent, thank you. Uh, my dear, mi voluntaria que se me quedó pendiente, could you please help me with this one? Okay, I think. <laughs> okay, number seven. Um, you have is in your eye. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you show? Mm -hmm. Have a table? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Number eight, the last one for this uh, group of exercise. Uh, me, teacher? Okay, please go ahead, Emperatriz. Everything will be all right. You should... Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Adelante, Emperatriz, you should. Uh, you should not worry so. Yes, you should not worry so. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much uh, to all of you. Uh, you were able to answer uh, this and giving the appropriate advice for each. And then we use the uh, should. So, look, aquí tengo un error, chicos. Should. Ok, vamos a ver, a veces estos errorcillos de dedo. Ok, excellent, thank you very much. Ok, here I have more. Uh, but in order to do this, I'll send you to the breakout rooms, but not now. Vamos a trabajar este también, pero para esto vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Sin embargo, tengo todavía algo más que compartirles. Let's see. Ok, aquí está. Eh, aquello era los models, ¿verdad? Model auxiliaries. Ahora vamos a trabajar con los infinitives para que ustedes vean que hay dos formas de proveer advice. With the model auxiliaries and with the infinitives, right? Can you watch my screen? My new screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Yes. The infinitives, um, the infinitive is used to express a purpose. For example, um, I got up early to do homework. I have some letters to write. Um, the infinitives can also follow, cert follow certain nouns. For example, it's a high price to pay. It's time to take a break. He made a decision to take up extra subjects, right? But also, um, we use the infinitives to show the purpose of an action. Uh, it's used to explain why an action is done, right? Uh, to has the same meaning as in order to or para, ¿verdad? También puede servir para decir para tal cosa. An action plus infinitive verb, for example, the, stand, the, the students study very hard to pass the exams. So why the, student, the students study very hard to pass the exams? She's going to to go to English, to England to learn English. Why she's going to go to England to learn English, right? Or to call your attention. 
uh, when we ha when we want to make infinity pulses negative in or or in other words the negative form of of two we use we use not to for example he changed his way not to see her it's like eh, se cambió eh, se, a ver solo déjenme responder esto This sentence is like, he changed his way not to see her. Como se cambió, verdad, de, de carril, de calle, o de, o de camino, para no verla. Uh, to call attention to. To can be used at the beginning of a sentence. To get a passport, firstly, you should fill out this form. This is like um, a, um, an instruction, right? To get a passport, firstly, you should fill out this form. Okay, here, <clears throat> uh, we use the infinitives, uh, two plus verbs in order to, um, uh, in order to express some ideas, but after some specific verb. For example, what do you want to do? Want to do. I'm asking, what do you want to do? I hope to go to university next year. I'm, ex I'm expecting like a desire. I hope to go to university next year. We decided to leave tomorrow. That's a decision. My brother is learning to drive. I want Tom, I want to Tom, but failed to attract his attention, right? He agreed to lend me some money. But here, uh, I, I'm, go I'm going to use them to giving advice. For example, in this article of healthy living, I'm going to expand it because the letter, yeah. The ways of giving advice, you should plus an infinity. We always use the modal auxiliaries, but now we add the infinity. You owe to plus the infinity, which is more formal. Or you say, it would be a good idea if you, and then the past, uh, a sentence. If I were you, I would. You have better plus an infinity. You will have to plus an infinity. It's time you and simple past. Why don't you plus infinity? You could always plus an infinity. Have you thought about an ing? Imperatives, don't do or do. So there are different ways of giving advice. For example, here. I wish I could put on some weight. I'm so skinny. What should I, what should I, what shall I do, right? Or it could be, what should I do also? It's okay. Uh, I can do any of my jeans up. I really need to lose some weight. What shall I do, right? Oops, excuse me. Creo que me moví. Eh, ¿Están viendo de nuevo mi, mi pantalla ampliada? Yes. yes. Ok, yes. ok. Sorry, sorry, me moví. Ok. I feel sleepy all the time. What, what's wrong with me? I think using sunscreen is a waste of money. Do you think I shall, I shall buy some? Aquí están usando shop, right? What should I do to, ve aquí si estamos utilizando should, pero en pregunta, what should I do to? Un infinitivo. What should I do to lead a healthy lifestyle? I go to the gym because I think I can lose weight when I sweat. I think my eyesight got worse. What's wrong? After a long working day, couple of beers don't hurt you. Don't you think? Cigarette, why not? Do you have, the, again, do you have to go to the gym to keep fit? To go to. Infinity. How could I go to this rush after eating strawberries? What should I do? My head is killing me today. I've got this bad headache since morning. So you see, there are different ways of giving advice for healthy living and there are different expressions. This is going to be in the extra materials that I'll send you. For example, here, I have some, diff some problems, some health problems have a cold or the flu, have an earache, have a stomach ache, have a cough, have a fever temperature, have a toothache, have a rash, have an allergy, 
have a sore throat, feel sick, have diarrhea, have con conjunctivitis. So for all these problems, we should have an advice. For example, if this person says, if I ask him, what's the matter? And he says, I have a, a cold or I have the flu. And what I say is you should drink a lot of fluids and you should rest and you should go to bed now. Okay, so I have different ways to provide advice. So when you provide advice, you normally use these expressions. Why don't you, right? Why don't you, por qué no, as a gesto, verdad? If I were you, la famosa frase, if I were you, I'd. Si yo fuera tú, haría esto. Again, the models, you should or you shouldn't. You could or you should try, right? For example, if a person says, eh, I have a fever or I have temperature, and I can say, you should try putting um, a sweat a towel on your, on your face, on your head, and then uh, taking some um, acetaminophen and pills, right? Or you can say, maybe, perhaps you should, right? Or you can add, it's a good idea too. You could try too. You should try too, okay? So uh, this is going to be in your extra materials, but this is uh, another way of model auxiliaries, uh, but we are not going to start them at all this class, but I just wanted you to know that we have the zero infinitive after model auxiliary verbs, right? My sister could play the, the piano when she was five. You must get up earlier in the morning. Uh, we use it after certain verbs, but this is not necessary to give advice, right? The only one that seems is this one. I'd rather stay at home than go out tonight. Es como darme el consejo a mí mismo, ¿verdad? Yo debería permanecer en casa más que salir. It's cold. The children have better wear their coats. Este sí. Está frío. Los niños deberían, eh, o sería mejor que los niños eh, utilicen o eh, usen en el sentido de llevar puesto sus eh, sacos, sus chaquetas, para su ropa. So, um, I'm going to stop sharing this and I'll go to the previous exercise that I was. Okay. So what we are going to do now is to mix up these um, problems, right? Vamos a, a combinar los problemas que tenemos acá. We have, a, let's see if I can watch it in the best way. If you can take a picture, it's going to be okay. Si usted le puede tomar una imagen, va a estar súper bien. So what I want you to do is that you can um, provide advice, right? Oh, excuse me, I need to go to the next, sorry. Déjenme regresar al anterior. Because I need to take this. Okay, so what you have to do is to provide advice. You can use should, but also you can use these new ways. Pueden utilizar el should, pero también pueden utilizar estas otras formas, ¿verdad? Why don't you, ¿verdad? Or if I were you, si yo fuera tú, ¿verdad? Or it's a good idea too. Es una buena idea hacer tal cosa, ¿verdad? So I'm going to send you now this to the WhatsApp group. And then for you to provide advice. Okay. Okay, now you have the problem and you have the ways to provide an advice. So, what I expect for, uh, that you can do is to work in the breakout rooms and give advice to these problems, these health problems people is uh, presenting or feeling or being affected 
using the modal auxiliaries should, ought to, or some of the other expressions that we have learned, right? Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? Or is the exercise, the, the exercise, uh, is it going to uh, a conversation with that inform, with this information? It's not necessarily a conversation. The idea is that now you have a uh, four people. Let's let's uh, think that we have a uh, Han, Lisa. We have their uh, Khan, Murat, and Ted. All of them have a problem, right? So I'm expecting that you can give an advice at least for three people because you are going to be three in the group. So I expect that you can take one people, each member of the group, and you can provide an advice. For example, uh, the example that appears there is Mike. It says, Mike has a sore throat. He should go to the doctor, right? So that's the advice you are providing. But um, if I say that hand has a cavity, so what hand should do, right? So you have to uh, explain, say the problem, and then recommend what this person, sh person should do, right? For example, okay. Lisa. Lisa has a headache, right? So she should and recommend Lisa what to do. Um, Chan, uh, let's see, Chan has a backache. So recommend, please recommend him what to do. Uh, Murat, Murat is having like a cold, maybe fever, maybe he got the flu. So you need to give him an advice. And finally, Ted, it seems that he's having a stomach ache. So you need to provide him an, an advice. I don't expect that you complete all of them because of the time, but at least one, okay? Okay, thank you, Did. Okay, excellent. If there are no more questions, I'm going to send you the invitation for the breakout rooms now. So let me see, we have 12 people, so we are going to have four. Okay, thank you for joining. You can start joining now. Okay. 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 Let's begin. Yeah. Iris, for example. Teacher. Yeah. Hello. Do you have questions? May I help you? Yeah. Para compartir, digamos, lo que usted envió, se le da donde dice compartir. Sí, entiendo yo que ustedes tienen una opción de compartir pantalla. Si está en una computadora, lo va a poder hacer. Mm, no, no estoy. No. <risa> ¿Y ustedes? Si a alguien le aparece la opción de compartir pantalla. Ok, give me a second. Ok, okay. thank you. Ok. Sherpa. Were you able to find it? Uh, give me a second, teacher. Yes. Hello. Mm. Well, no, teacher. Hello. Hi. It's crazy. It's my thing. <laughs> no. Record. Ah, share screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's the way it is. I have here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's okay. You're sharing your screen now. We can see it. Okay. And I think is this the page or no? Yes, that's the one. And then you can share the other one that I sent you that why don't you, that says why don't you 
If I were you, I'd, you should or you shouldn't, you could try, you should try, but you decide which, which are, are you going to use. Usted decide cuál va a utilizar para dar el consejo, ¿verdad? Yo les he mandado como varias opciones. Yes. Um, mm. Two. Okay. Say it's a it's a, it's important uh, to see a dentist. Okay. okay. I leave you. I'll go to the other groups. I hope you can work properly. Okay. Okay. See you. Okay. Bye. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, okay. Yo, 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 yo creo que es Han. 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 Okay, Han is a. Uh, no, no uh, Han has a package. He. He should go, no, uh, he should go to the massage, <laughs> I think. <laughs> maybe. She, um, maybe he should go to a massage or a massage. maybe <laughs> he should take some, I don't know, uh, pain uh, pills or some. Uh, ah, Lisa. Uh, took a, a pill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can give different options. Or maybe he shouldn't carry so heavy things, right? Because if you have a back a backache, you shouldn't carry all those heavy things, right? Okay. So you can give advice of should or shouldn't, right? Okay. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. Hello. Can I help you? Hello. Do you have questions? Estamos intentando ahí. You try. You try. That's the idea. Then we will have the correction. Yeah in the general presentation. But it's okay, it's backache. Backache, okay? Backache. Backache, okay. backache. yes, yes. Um, the, is the, the, the recommendation is he should, uh, example, mm -hmm. he should, he should to take, oh, to go to go. Yeah, she, he should go to the doctor, he should see the doctor, or he should take some uh, pills for the pain, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or you can say he shouldn't carry so heavy things, right? It's negative, but you're giving a good advice because if, if he has a backache and he's carrying so heavy things, he's going to be worse or feel worse, right? So you can say he shouldn't carry uh, heavy things, right? Okay. Okay, my dears. Uh, I see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Thank okay. You, you can Thank continue you. working. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? Yeah. Uh, yes, teacher. Um, we are remember. Uh, we are remember. No. Yeah. <laughs> we are reminding. Or uh, yeah. Rem or recall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ha we are recalling the the names of the six. Mm -hmm. 
but we don't remember. Ah, uh, okay. The name of the disease, for example, let me check. Okay, let me check. Let's see. Okay, the first one, uh, the hands problem is a cavity, right? Or you can say uh -huh. to toothache, toothache, right? Oh, uh, Lisa okay. problem is a headache, right? Headache. Yeah, headache, ache, ache, headache. Uh-huh, hey. yes. Chan problem is a backache. Oh, backache. Mm -hmm. Murad maybe got the flu, right? Oh, yes, flu. Mm -hmm. fever. Yeah, or fever or cough. You can say different, uh, yeah? And Ted has a stomachache. Stomachache. Yes. And can has a yes you can say uh, can right can has a back a back a back pain I mean um, a, a back a backache right back so you can recommend he should see a doctor he should take some pills for the for the pain and he should go to a to have a massage. Or maybe he shouldn't carry so heavy things, right? Because if you're charging heavy thing and you have a backache, imagine it's getting worse. Uh huh. Yeah. And so you... rat. Mm -hmm. Fe fever or, or maybe or... the flu. He got the flu. Oh, okay. So when you got the flu, maybe you should take some. Uh, medicine but also uh, go to bed and rest and drink uh, plenty of dr uh, uh, liquids right like a, a uh, drink a chicken soup or something right <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay I'll call you in a minute right in order to have our plenary because of the time okay, okay. you can continue Thank working you, for one more minute okay Hello, hello, welcome back. How was the practice? Were you able to give at least one advice? So, so? Okay, let's wait for one more minute to, for people to come back. Okay, I see that most of you are coming back. Okay, I would like to have at least um, two volunteers uh, who wants to uh, tell us What's the problem? What's wrong? What's the matter? And what was the advice you provided to the person? So who wants to share? Vamos a ver, chicos, quién quiere compartir el consejo que dieron? Por lo menos uno por, por grupo, ¿verdad? Dos grupos. Me. Okay, René, go ahead. Number, number two. Um, yeah. Hams, Hams Casatutech. He mm -hmm. should be a dentist. Okay, it has a, a toothache, so he should see a dentist. Very good. Thank you, Rene. Okay, another volunteer for the other problems we have here. Me, the okay, please. Lisa. Okay. Yes. And she she has a headache. Mm -hmm. And she should to take a pill of Acetaminophen, no sé cómo decirlo. Yeah, acetaminophen pill, right? Acetaminophen pill. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, do we have a volunteer for CAN, number four? 
Let's see. Me, may I, teacher? Yes, yes, Emperatriz, please, go ahead. And Khan has a backache and he should go to the doctor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then maybe we can say he shouldn't carry so heavy stuff, right? Right, in order oh, to okay. don't damage uh, his uh, back. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Uh, do we have a volunteer for Murat? Me, teacher? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. Murat have a feather. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't to go to work today. Okay, he, he has a fever, so he shouldn't go to work today. Okay, excellent, thank you. Number six, volunteer for number six to describe Ted's problem and what should he do? Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, please, go ahead. Uh, Ted has a has an stomachache. Mm -hmm. And he should to, to take some medicine. I don't know. Yes, he should take some medicine and maybe maybe do some lab test, right? To see if they don't have parasites, a parasite, right? That can cause many problems with the stomach. Yeah, that's good. Excellent recommendation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Because of the time, we are going to stop here, but today we were able to cover uh, the contents that, so let me go back so quickly to the platform. Yeah. So um, we were able to suggest uh, using models, right? So we were able to answer now 2.11, right? Uh, in this case, we have a conversation. So it says complete the conversation with the model scan could, may have, try, suggest, or should. Number one, may I help you or can I help you, right? And then the person says, yes. Uh, then can or could or may. I have something for itchy eyes, itchy eyes. Para picazón en los ojos, ¿verdad? Then the person says, sure. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. And then uh, number two in, in this, in the second part says, what do you have or suggest for some muscles? Then the person says, you should try this ointment, it's excellent. And then the person says, can I or could I or may I have a box of bandages, please? The person says, and what do you have or what do you suggest for insomnia? And the answer is try some of these herbal tea. It's very relaxing, right? So that's the answer. Those are the possible answers for this knowledge check, right? So we have covered until uh, 2.11, uh, so tomorrow we are going to um, rapidly see the 2.12, that is um, skills for specific information. Basically, here you have to listen, right, a conversation and answer. Um, yeah, we are going to finish today because it's, it's very quickly. So what you have to do is to download this audio and listen it many, many times, right? Uh, you can expand the window here and then you can open and download, right? And according to the conversation, uh, the, man, uh, the man's feet are sore. So it means it's, it's hurting, he has pain on uh, his uh, feet. The second, the woman has an upset stomach, right? When, cuando decimos tengo malestar estomacal, upset stomach right? Number three, the man has difficulty sleeping, right? That's the problem he's presenting. The man has difficulty sleeping. And the number four, the woman burn her hand, right? The woman burn her hand. So those are the problems we have uh, according to the platform. 
And then if you see, we have concluded the section number two. So for tomorrow, we are going to start as we plan the section number three. So I would like to ask you if, do you have questions so far? No, teacher. Okay, my dears, just in case you need extra support, you can uh, chat uh, to the WhatsApp group and then I can help you, okay? Okay. Okay, excellent. It has been a pleasure to have you here and I hope to see you tomorrow. Please be safe, okay? And have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night, teacher. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.